I know you don't mess with the envies. I know this. But I'm gonna blow your mind today. Cause it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got nothing to do. What's up everybody, it's your man I Do A Barber and in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a hack to the cordless MVL eyes. I know a lot of people don't like them. Some people rock with them, but for those of you that do rock with them, I'm gonna give you a little hack to maybe enhance them, to maybe sway you a little bit more on the Envy side. And also for those people that do have them that are thinking about switching over to the cordless seniors or the Magic Clips, stop, stop, stop right there. Do not do that until you watch this video. So let's find out what's really going on. Now, before we get started in this video, if you guys are curious about any of these products, I will have links to all of this stuff in the description below of this video. So check out the description if you wanna buy any of the products that you see here within this video. But the MVLIs, a lot of people don't like them for this reason right here. This bevel blade that they have, a lot of people don't like it and I get it. Me personally, I learned on these clippers, the mask and the Supras, so I got accustomed to using these. I could get a 5-0 line out. Depends on the person's hair texture and density, I might be able to get a shaver line out, but I actually grew to love them. Now, what happened was, a few years ago, one of my barber brothers, shout out to Vegas, if you're watching this, shout out to you, he showed me that you could do something else with your envies, but I didn't really take heed to it back then, but now I actually decided to do so, and you're gonna find out here shortly. But first, what I did was I ordered the Andis Surgical Blades. So as you see here, you see this blade. This is the Andis Surgical Blade. Now, what I noticed was when I put them on, they were, of course, pulling skin, and they didn't open up wide enough to my liking because it opens up from a five zero to a triple zero. And I wasn't quite happy with that. So I was like, eh, you know, it's cool. So what I did with these was, I decided rather than throwing them away or returning them to just turn this into a balding clipper. So if you see here in this Envy, there's there's no lever on the sides of these. I zero gapped them and I used these to bald out with. Now, the secret to this is this. The wall senior blade. You can put the wall senior blade on your cordless Envy LIs. So if you look here, Look there, you can see that, that says wall on that blade. So, and if you see here on this one, this one says Andis, this one says wall. Now, the reason why I switched over to the wall and just decided to do it, which I honestly should have done that in the first place because duh, I knew better. This is what I didn't like. Like I said, they don't open up enough and this blade is thicker than this surgical blade. And I'm gonna show you. So if you look closely at both of these blades, you can see that the Andis blade is a lot thinner than the Wall Senior blade. And of course, with this lever here, it opens up a lot more than it does on this Andis surgical blade. Now, of course, with doing this transformation and this little swap, there are some pros and cons and there are some downsides and some things you have to take into account. Now, let me explain. When I ordered this wall blade, it actually comes with the screws for a wall. You will have to use the regular MBLI screws because what will happen is if you use the wall screws, it'll tighten it too much and the lever will become too tight and it actually won't even move. So use the MBLI screws with the wall blade and you also have to use the cutting blade from wall. You cannot use the NVLI cutting blade. You know, a lot of people wanna go crazy and do all these little hybrid setups, but it will not allow you to actually use the NVLI cutting blade. Now here's one of the things that I didn't like about this swap, but it's just something I'm just growing used to and I'm just growing accustomed to it and I'm sure in due time it won't really bother me, but I'm gonna give, have you guys listen to this. So. This is the Andis MBLI with the standard bevel blade, curved, whatever you wanna call this blade, and this one is the wall senior blade. So listen to this, and mind you, I just charged both of these clippers, they're fully charged. So listen to this. MB blade, wall senior blade. MB blade, Wall senior blade. Now, you see that's a big difference in the sound. 
with the wall blade, it's, it obviously sounds different. Very, two totally distinct sounds. The wall versus the Envy, the Envy blade sounds much faster. The clipper feels much more powerful in my hand when I turn it on. I feel it, I, I can feel that. The wall, I can also feel it, but it also feels like it's not that powerful. It feels like maybe it's bogged down a little bit, I'm not sure, because of course, this is not made for Andes. Maybe that's just the case. All right, sorry to interrupt the hack video, but me being me, I just noticed something. I went and picked up another pair of MVLIs that I have with the wall surgical blade, and I noticed that this pair actually sounds a lot faster than the other pair. And I'm going to give you guys a little test. This is with the, M the Envy's with the wall surgical blade. Envy blade. It sounds just as powerful. I don't know. Maybe it's just that particular pair of clippers that sounds a little bogged down. So never fear. It's actually pretty good. It might be quite fast. Depends on the clipper. But back to your regularly scheduled program. I'm going to get out of here. In the last two haircut tutorials that I've shot while I was on vacation in Florida, not sure if you guys are gonna see this, it's a mid-ball fade with a texture top and a drop fade with a texture top as well. I'll leave links to those in the description below. That's if those videos come out before this video. Not sure. But what I noticed in doing those haircuts is that this can get out a shaver line. I actually really like the way it, it fades into my blades because these also fade well into the blades too, mind you, don't get me wrong there, but I really like the way these fade into the blades, and I actually like it. It took some little bit getting used to, and one thing I will say about this transformation in this hack is this, the, the hair doesn't come off too fast, I'll say that. And me personally, I like that. I don't like a clipper that's too fast and too powerful. I like clippers that cut a little bit slower, where you can get the effects and the blends come off a little bit slower. Sort of like a fast feed, but I don't, own a pair of fast feeds. I've only faded once with a pair of fast feeds and if you saw that one video that I did where it's the masters versus magic clips versus fast feeds, I did it in that video. I know you guys are curious. What guards can you use with these? Because you put the wall senior blade on. Can you use the double magnetics? Now here's a little, another little hack I will give you and I really wish I knew the name of this YouTube barber because I would love to give him a shout out in this video but I do not remember his name off the top of my head. But what I will say is this, there's one other YouTube barber, Mr. Eddie Barber, I think that's his name, not sure, go check out his channel. He did a hack on the double magnetic guards where you could actually put them on the MVs. It's a little bit labor intensive where he had to remove the magnets and then replace the magnet here. So if you wanna go through all that, cool and run the risk of you know messing up these uh, double magnetic guards ultimately that's one you can go check out his video on his channel but the other hack that i saw in another youtube uh video what a barber did was this what he did was he took his envies to a machine shop and he had his blade and these two screws recessed down to where they sit flush along here so if you see here he actually had the machine shop do whatever they do and where all these screws don't protrude out of the actual blade on the top. They sit flush to where these double magnetic guards in turn sit flush on the blade and they don't move. Cause if you see here, this is a, this is a one guard, double magnetic as you can see on this regular MBLI blade. And if you see here, it's not quite secure. You can see that, you can hear that. And if you see, that's actually going up and down. But technically, if you're fading, if you look at that, that's not moving that much. Not really moving that much. So if you're, if you're digging, you're gonna have some problems if you're digging. But if you're like doing nice clean strokes, not too much of a problem. But here's the thing, do you really wanna deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis? It's almost like the wall half guard, the cheap one, that little gray or green one, whichever one you have, and you gotta kinda hold it and fade with it. I remember doing that a long time ago and that's a pain in the butt. The wall senior blade. Let's find out which one of these will actually work on it. So let's check this out. So I'm gonna use the double magnetics and let's see what happens. This is the zero guard, mind you. And I put this on, it sits on top of the blades. Not sure if you guys can see that. You got the magnets and you got the screws there and they sit, boom sort of right on top, sort of like on the outside, but it still doesn't sit flush. 
if you want to just get curious same thing as the double magnetics on the regular envy blade they bounce up and down same thing it's actually even worse than using it on the envy blades even if i'm really gentle with this they slide off so technically this is not a good idea unless you recess the screws now that's if you want to do that not sure how much a, a machine shop is going to charge you to do something like that but in my opinion when he did it it was actually a really nice hack and actually i was kind of curious to actually do that myself go take it over to a machine shop because that's actually a pretty dope idea because what you can do is you can get the best of both worlds because what happens now is the single magnetics they actually fit on here now with that being said they don't fit necessarily as far as the actual size if you look at this they technically do slide up and down but seeing how this magnet is in the center here so if you look at that two screws bam you got the middle screw it sits on there and it's, it's tight but it's obviously a lot longer if you look at that little metal clip here that hangs on you see that it just slides 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 but seeing how the magnets in the middle it keeps that in place so if you would like or if you want to use the double or the single magnetic guard on this wall blade you can do that with no problem now i know what you guys are wondering because you're like this is a wall blade i like the wall guard system come on would i really do this video and leave you guys hanging like that no what i did was this i went out and bought the wall guard system half through the one and a half because technically you know when i'm fading this is all i really need anyway and uh, especially if i'm using guards i'm i can just switch over to the blades but i figured just for the sake of this video let me get the wall guards it's getting hot in here let me let me fan myself Whew. so let's see if this actually works because as you see this is a wall blade i got some wall premium i got the premium guards now come on you, you know i did I didn't want to skimp out on you guys, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't just go cheap. I had to get some good stuff. So let's see if this actually works. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off with this half guard first. Let's see. And look, let's be honest, it should fit, but let's just, let's just see for the sake of the video. Oh, fits perfectly, fits like a gym. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So if you see here, got the and Andis MVLIs, with the wall blade if you if you see that there the wall blade with the half premium guard snaps right in fits securely on there and by the way these are zero gapped if you're curious not even through the blade or the guard mind you fits good one guard let's let's try the one guard let's see snaps right in look at that listen to that bam look at that Fits good, like I said, open, close, feeling good. I'm really curious to see how these work and put these into action. Like I said, the first time I faded with wall guard system was in that one video with the Masters, Magic Clips, and Fast Feeds. I'm curious to try these. I'm, I'm gonna try and shoot a haircut tutorial using these with the wall guard system, and oh, this is gonna be good. So that's pretty much the video. I hope this can help anyone. Now that you know this little hack, I gave you some other YouTube barbers to check out if you are interested in doing the hacks the way they did them. And also, like I said, if you have a pair of Envies and you're thinking about ditching them and saying, I wanna get some wall magic clips or some wall cordless seniors, stop right there. Don't do it until you think about trying this because this blade on Amazon is around i think i got it for around 16 dollars these three guards here i got for around i think 18 dollars now if you want to buy all the guards and you fade with guards be my guest go right ahead i'm not going to stop you but for me 16 dollars 18 dollars 32 dollars when i already own this clipper 32 dollars is much better than paying whatever the price is for a brand new pair of magic clips or a pair of cordless seniors so in my opinion this is the way to go because hey i'm just here to save you money that's what it's all about and i do you know if, you know if you do happen to do this you can paypal me my commission for saving you some money you know 
you know, you just help a brother out, you know what I'm saying? But that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. I'm gonna get out of here. Gotta go watch some more World Cup. It's your man, I do a barber signing out. I will holler.